How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, a while back, Corsair sent over a bunch of Elgato stuff for me to take a look at, to build my new streaming setup, and then also to show you guys how a lot of these stuff work. But now today, we're gonna take a look at Elgato's pull up a green screen, which is a super handy if you are in a small space and still want to have a, a nice background or if your room is just really cluttered. Having one of those is really going to look awesome, especially if you want to add some cool effects. So with that, let's go back to the studio and then show you guys how all of that works because we're not really in the studio at the moment. We're outside and I can pretty much just Pack it up, pick it up, and we can go. But yeah. All righty, so we are back here in the studio, and I quickly just want to give you guys a rundown on the pop up a green screen from Elgato. And then I'm also going to show you guys how to set it up in Streamlabs OBS. And I might even give you guys a quick little tutorial on how to key it out in something like Premiere for if you want to do a more editing work, especially if you do record more videos instead of streaming. Now, firstly, the construction is made out of aluminum, which does make it nice and light and also pretty durable if you want to take it on the go with you. Uh, it is around nine kilograms or so, so not too heavy. You do get these feet that you can just slide out on either side. And then just to pop it open, all you need to do is pop off these latches, which unfortunately in mine does come off really easily. I think mine was a demo model and it wasn't taken the best care of. So those do come off, but luckily you can just pop them back in. And after that, just, just like that, it's really a simple. And then all you need to do literally with one finger, just pull this out and I can't even go that high. It does go quite high. So for the dimensions, it does go up to 1.8 meters and then it has a length of 148 centimeters. So it's going to be plenty enough if you want to put it behind you while you stream or if you want to just key out something different, you can do it like that. And for the material also, it is made out of 100% a polymer which is a nice. So anything you want to green screen out can with this one. It does a pop out really easily without any issues. And then also again, you literally just take it up to a reasonable level. It'll stay there and then just with a single finger, take it down and there we go. So really, really simple. Now, what makes the Elgato green screen so useful is that because it's a very portable and doesn't take up any permanent space, it actually fits into a small room or studio really easy. So, for instance, I have my main desk here, I have another desk here, and then I have it right here. If I want to stream, pop it out. If I don't want to stream or if I need some extra space, I can just lower it and move it to somewhere else out of the way. That's how convenient this thing is. And especially if you guys have a really small room, you'd appreciate having this more portable setup. Alrighty, so here we have everything set up so far. Now, currently I'm recording into my GH5 that goes into the Cam Link 4K. That's why it looks so crisp. You can see everything on my face. Um, but also I do have the Elgato key light just above it, which I can control here on the stream deck and that thing can go so bright. Uh, so that's one of the important things. If you do have a green screen, you want to have as much light as possible shining on your face. So it, it does distinguish you more uh, compared to the background. But uh, anyway, because I have such a small room now and the table is right there, I have the green screen which I can just pull up and there we go. Now unfortunately you guys can see that there are some space here on the side but luckily I do have already some filters set up in Streamlabs like the crop and then also my key light. So this is how it's actually going to look and 
I think it's pretty cool. So I added also the my setup, just a image of my setup in the background, which I think looks looks nice. Maybe I'll later I'll add a video. That's that'll be cool with all of the lights and the wallpaper engine changing in the background. But, but anyway, let's get into how you can actually set this up. And for the people who already know, you're not really going to need to watch this. You're probably have already set stuff like this up but for the people who are new to this i'm quickly going to show you guys how to apply all of the filters in streamlabs because it's actually really really easy all right so let's uh, quickly jump into our full screen mode which looks weird as you guys can see but i want to show you guys this so this is currently my sets uh my filter setup where i have my chroma key which that is going to key out the background so if i remove that you guys can see and also just the uh, the crop and the pad uh, with that, all you need to do is let me quickly guys show you so once you have created your your stream your, your camera all you need to go into a right click on that device so for me for example it's my cam link again which i'm using right click filters and then here you have your options so let's quickly disable these and recreate them now firstly all you need to do is click on the plus then you have a few different options that you can filters that you can add firstly let's quickly add a crop so we can get rid of these sides so we have that first now all we need to do is add any amount you guys can see it changes there so if we take 500 it cuts up quite a, a lot i don't think we need that much 400 seems okay for the top it does cut out a bit there let's take around a hundred and then also we have the right side which is my left let's take let's see 200 a bit more 300 seems okay so that's it for the crop but now we want to add into that a chroma key which again just go here drop down and then just scroll down to chroma key so again you guys see there's a bunch of different filters that you can apply but we're mostly looking at a chroma key again this is also a super simple it already picked a lot of the stuff up uh, because it's a green screen it is going to be focused on the green so make sure you're not wearing any green because that is also going to key out if you want to look like a ghost maybe a floating head then you can but we're not into that uh, now firstly in the chroma key filter you do have your options if you did maybe have like a blue screen you can add that as well and that looks so weird but we're going to focus on the green now here you have a bunch of different sliders you'll most likely need to play around with that uh, because again you do need a lot of light to shine on you to distinguish you more against the background but we can quickly just play with the intensity for a bit so if i lower it down it's going to take it away but if i take it too much it's going to take me away entirely and it might even cut some like there just my mouth <laughs> looks weird uh but let's get a nice a medium you also don't want to just a slight amount because you can change some other uh filters as well but now of course you can also play around with some other settings to get the base for you for instance the key simple if you take it too much of course it's going to reduce the color a lot so we're actually going to leave it where it is at around 100 because it actually looks quite a good in my opinion and then of course the opacity you can go play with that if you want to be see-through transparent you can brightness gamma you do have those options if you want to control a bit more of the of your green screen but anyway we're actually looking pretty good now of course i am a bit out so i'm just going to enlarge this a bit more and there we go it actually looks pretty good again i like it that i'm a bit out if you wanted to do that you can it looks like a bit of a different effect i don't see it like that but let's quickly jump into the game and show you guys how it looks then now also of course with a stream lapse you do have the option of having a multiple scenes so instance i can switch between 
games and so on where you can actually have like multiple green screens like these and set them up somewhere else then you can stand up for example and have a different background kind of like Dr. Disrespect where he has his normal sitting one he has his one in his Lambo and of course where he's in his gym or in the uh, the changing room so you do have that option to play around and create your own environment your own world almost but now let's quickly jump into a game again just with the stream deck pressing a button and we are in uh so we do have that and this is how it's going to look in a game and i just honestly i love that I have the option of doing that and i'm dead awesomeness and that's pretty much how you set up a green screen in Streamlabs. I'm also quickly going to show you guys how you set it up in uh, something like Premiere where you want to key it out as well because that's just as simple. It's a few sliders and you are done. So let's quickly go do that. Just want to get one more kill. And I missed that. Uh, there we go all right i'm dead as well but anyway let's move on like that all right so here we are in premiere just a quickly take a look at some of those intro clips that i did me in front of the green screen and now we're just quickly going to crop most of it out so just get your crop plug in there which we're just going to cut off some around there we're going to use the top as well don't want to decapitate me over there uh right side but over there and then finally the bottom we're gonna do around there but now we can actually increase the scale a bit more take it down to there i think that looks okay and then the background which we're going to use is going to be just this random image of my setup there we go but next we need to get our ultra key plugin so we can get rid of that green screen now if we just take a look here we're going to select the color that we want to key out and again you can use this pretty much for any color but we're going to use it for this green so now then you guys can see we do have some spillage that we want to get rid of you can play around a bit more choose maybe a different color to see if we can get a better uh, outline so now we only have a bit above uh, there which we can uh, get rid of with our uh, pedestal which we're just going to lower a bit now that actually looks pretty okay which is a lower it a bit uh, more system is struggling a bit in the 4k footage but we can see it doesn't really look like there's any spillage going on we can maybe get rid of some green on the sides we're going to do that with the spool suppression going to just lower all of that a bit you guys can see by lowering it it is increasing the bit uh, let's take a look at so it's pretty much just going to play around and see what you get i think that actually looks pretty good on my screen so yeah that's kind of how it's uh, going to look but of course we can add a different uh, backgrounds let's see just what i have here we can for instance add this background there we go so just a random background that i have which we can play around with and uh, see what we want but now that's pretty much it for my look at the green screen from Elgato. So if you guys want to get one of these for yourself, I will leave links in the video description where you're going to get it from Rebel Tech, if you live here in South Africa, or on Amazon if you do live overseas. Also, a big shout out to Corsair and Elgato for sending all of the Elgato streaming gear over. Uh, I'm really looking forward to testing all of them out and using them in my streaming sessions. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. And I will check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.